I've been asked to talk about um, is just to give a little bit of an overview. Um, I am a very, very lucky bystander um, in my professional life. I have the privilege of uh, watching politics in this country from a, a relatively close uh, perspective, and thanks to various projects around the world, I've spent quite a lot of time recently in Washington, the United States, and in China, and so on. And so I thought what I'd do is talk a little bit about, from um, my utterly inexpert uh, bystander's perspective, um, the way everything seems to be fitting together or not um, just at the moment. So I thought I'd start by talking uh, a little bit about domestic politics, um, where we have um, still uh, more than two years to run of a, a rather uneasy and unhappy, um, but nonetheless um, secure coalition, a, a marriage that is holding together despite all the pressures. And um, uh, we have um, in um, the Prime Minister a man, I would say, and I think this is very interesting, whose destiny is still really very much in his own hands. Not entirely, um, but to a very large extent. That is uh, what we know, uh, Mervyn King was uh, reminding us just a couple of days ago, uh, we know that we are in a very odd, slow, difficult um, uh, semi-recovery um, or a kind of flat calm for a period in which the old rules of democratic politics, uh, which I was brought up in, uh, namely, that politicians must go to the electorate and say, vote for me and life will be better tomorrow. I will give you more stuff. Everything will be easier. Your children will have a better time too. That world is over. Uh, we are now in a very different political world where politicians uh, are going to have to find ways of coming to the electorate and saying, well, honestly, it's tough. It's going to carry on being tough. Um, and uh, we can't give you a lot of hope for a sort of materially richer, short-term future, but stick with us and things will get better.